Please get you excited. We're gonna head out for brunch into Taudin. Are you ready? One of the big changes in Saigon over the last few years has been, I mean, the roads, because the amount of cars is insane. From when we came here eight years ago, when I started Seven Million Bikes, it was all about the amount of motorbikes. And even before we got here, now there's the tunnel, which just takes you straight from where we live and from this side of the city, it takes you straight into District 1. And that's been there since we got here. But we've seen pictures and before the tunnel was built, it was just, oh shit, we nearly hit a dog. He did the slam on the brake there. How close were you to actually hitting that? Not that close, but I wasn't sure if he was gonna keep crossing the road and then he didn't. There's a little puppy we gotta watch out for. Um, the snapshot of driving a bike inside Saigon where you have to brake suddenly for cars that come out of nowhere, other bikes and uh, puppies as well. And, and when you let Adri drive as well, you have to get used to slamming into the back of her helmet, right? <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, what do you call it? It was like a ferry. So they, they still have a ferry, like the cat eye ferry. You don't know what I mean. Just like drive on with your bike, it goes across the river and then you drive off and get on the road. So those still exist. But obviously bridges and tunnels are way more effective so they built the ferry oh sorry they got rid of the ferry but we saw videos of what it looked like or pictures and showed see like a massive bikes would all gather then they all got onto the ferry go across go on their way so obviously that's really slow now there's a, a tunnel there and it's just super fast so they were already making changes and then since we've been here they've changed so many roads that used to be one way there's another one in Binta, it makes you laugh the fact that it used to be a crossroad with lights and it was just crazy to try and drive through that. So they've made loads of changes and right now we're on Chen now. There's been massive changes even at the bottom of this road and it takes a long time just to build a roundabout. I don't think that's saying anything bad about Vietnam. I think every city, every country takes a long time to do public work. But they've changed so much to make it easier so now the system for cars and bikes i find it's much easier we were talking about it the other day there's way less honking as adri honks her bike literally as i say that there's way less honking especially from cars like the other day we were driving and this car was honking and it was actually quite noticeable quite annoying because most people don't really honk and i think it's because it's way more organized than it used to be it's actually kind of raining right now, which is real, kind of like, <laughs> not the normal Vietnam rain, just like Trindle. But uh, yeah, so even now we're just about to head up here. This was a roundabout literally like two weeks ago and no bike stopped. Everyone just drove through it in a semi-orderly manner, but it would just go through it. Whereas now it's actual traffic lights. And it's just way more organized. So these are the small changes that are happening on the road. You can see it's so orderly. This used to be chaos here, right? Yeah. So obviously it's still kind of chaos compared to Western standards. You gotta watch out for bikes going down the wrong way, taking a reason that you don't really expect. But overall. Yeah, it's definitely become way more organized now in Saigon. And obviously, that was part of the charm of Saigon. And the, back in the day, the chaos, the, 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 the craziness. But you've got to admit, it's definitely much better, much easier when it's organized like you. <laughs> it's quite funny when you start filming. This is quite new to me. People just love waving in the background. I was at a Comtam place a few weeks ago that I recorded at. I didn't have a published that video. And, People do, the guys in the background just love waving and stuff like that. It's kind of cool. So now we are into the belly of the beast. We're in Saudi, which again has also changed dramatically. 
None of this was here before. This road wasn't even here. It was like a dust road. They're putting in a child's playground. The market was always here, the traditional Vietnamese market, but this road was like a dirt road, a dust road. I vaguely remember coming along here. And then now as we turn on this one twee, we got Ishmik, which wasn't here before the Ishmik High School. Still got the market, it's the same. Selling the same stuff. But now when you went to this one twee, this could not have changed anymore. Again, it's I can't even remember. Can you remember what this looked like? It was sleepy. And it looked the same, but there were hardly any shots. I'm not going to look on the phone right now. I'm trying to make a video, so you meant to like say stuff. So what? Don't worry. It's the National Day holiday coming up. It's going to be... Tomorrow. Tomorrow. <laughs> so that's why all the flags are up. Oh yeah, this is just a sleepy, dusty it's like they got some new flags. Now it's yeah, just so different. Like look at all these really nice restaurants. Cat Hats opened up. It just looks so normal now and it's hard to believe that like none of this is here. The bad place was probably always here. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna take a left here, but that's the other end is one tree which used to just be as well pretty much like one or two bars cafes now as i heard uh, matt ryan described it the other day it's like a high street now we got walk home walk home i feel like hasn't changed massively but it's gonna we just passed like a couple of nightclubs i remember as soon as the first nightclub opened in tau you were like wait there's nightclubs here that's pretty mental we're gonna charge our bike here at Soma, there's a charging station for the that bike quantum that we have, and then we're going to go for brunch and try this Oriental snapper. Uh, I am being the person I hate. I'm being a no helmet wanker in Chowdhury uh, because we are literally going around the corner. Uh, so don't hate me, but you can, don't worry. I hate myself for not wearing a helmet. It is not for aesthetic. It's not so I can keep my hair looking good. I promise, as Adri claims. It's so we can just get it's around It's a bit the that. It's part of that. It's a little bit that. <laughs> yes. Yeah, for now. Hi. Yes. Uh, no, we don't. Is that okay? Outside? Yeah. Yes. Hey guys, how you doing? Hey, good. So, I've got a spot I can do in the garden. Yeah, uh, sure. thank you as well for the podcast. No worries, we're doing, I'm doing a video right now as well. I'm going to try the Oriental <laughs> Snapper. Right, I'm like, yeah, 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 I'm finally get to meet you. Thank you. Thank you, cheers. Make sure you go check out the episode I did with Misha Smith where he lists his top Bloody Marys in Saigon and the Oriental Snapper was one of them and I can completely see why he put it on there and I agree it is an amazing Bloody Mary where it's made with gin not vodka so go check that one out. Yeah the Oriental Snapper was really delicious. Brunch food at the weekend also very delicious. A great spot in Taodian if you are in the neighborhood or if you're not make the drive to Taoyuan. The weekend has a great atmosphere, whether you're sitting inside or outside. The outside is a nice garden in the back. Really pleasant place to enjoy your weekend. How should tell us about your food? What do you think of it? Zucchini, corn fritter with almond powder. Yeah. With mozzarella, very generous mozzarella. It's like buffalo mozzarella, like sliced. The tomato stew and rocket on the side. Yeah. Really good. One ingredient missing from the menu. I don't think you'll get it. It's a pretty small ingredient. In the fritters? Doesn't, probably in the fritters. I don't know what. Mixed herbs. Oh. Mixed, mixed herbs, herbs, as Americans would say, mixed herbs. Perfect. And then with mine. Kind of like a fritter stack, unstacked. An unstacked fritter. Uh, it does look amazing. <laughs>